back again and um this is part two part duh of um the BET Awards we need to do better now if I'm not gonna go through the whole disclaimer thing you need to watch the first part of the video but um once again these are just my views just my opinions you know what I'm saying don't you know hold my feet to the fire or whatever you know opinions are like assholes everybody's got one but this is just things that I saw that were a little bit off in my opinion and I feel like BET you need to do better okay next up once again I'm gonna catch hell for this one okay we're gonna talk about the person that everybody talks about <clears throat> and I and let me go ahead and once again I like this individual no 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 let me rephrase that I liked her when she was on MySpace okay I really was feeling her when she was on MySpace um I'm not to say that I'm not still feeling her now but I've just noticed like none of her shit makes sense anymore but um y'all pretty much know who I'm finna talk about right <clears throat> and shout out to my girl much love from Kentucky hi girl I'm actually decided to do this extra video and do the second part because of some comments that she made and they always say great minds think alike yes they do because when this particular individual came out on stage amongst all that smoke I was thinking to myself you know, and she had already, she received her award too for best female hip hop artist, you know, that's questionable. But then again, as she put it, she's killing every bitch in the rap game right now, which I beg to differ. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna talk about none other than the Harajuku hyphen Barbie. Yes, Miss Nicki Minaj. Okay. I'm not a hater you know I don't have a problem with Nicki Minaj like I said you know I love I really liked her when she was doing the MySpace thing personally I thought that Massive Attack was massively whack but I'm a real hip-hop head and I love real hip-hop but for her on the BET Awards my only faux pas I had with Miss Minaj was um <clears throat> shout out to much love again great minds think alike um, why does she feel she had to rob Ronald McDonald at gunpoint for his red wig? Can somebody please tell me that? Now, she get mad. She get mad when people say that she was just totally just ripped Lil' Kim's whole style. But in all honesty, let's keep it real. That's what she did. I was not feeling that damn red wig. Like, I was so not feeling it. Like, I mean, she was on stage, you know what I'm saying? And, um... <clears throat> all that smoke and she came out and I was just for sure that the Hamburglar was gonna come out right after her and talk about something hello a good morning I'm serious I was like what in the Jesus on a moped is Nicki Minaj doing shout out to my girl Miss Purple Kisses 81 she got me saying that too but anywho I mean and all like I said you know y'all little teeny boppers cause you know that's y'all hero Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj like you can't say nothing against them they will get mad like they get fighting mad if you say anything about Nicki Minaj you know but I just was not feeling that red hair she I mean she, I mean she could have chose any other color pink purple green I mean you know you know I just wasn't feeling that besides the fact that she lip synced on every single song that she performed at the BET Awards <clears throat> Nikki baby I'm gonna need you to do better yeah and get Ronald McDonald back his damn hair <laughs> move right along speaking of um that performance okay Puffy P Diddy Puff Daddy Diddy whatever you want by these days um I applaud you because you have encouraged so many young black people to go after entrepreneurship and you a multi-millionaire billionaire I applaud you for that you got all these companies these television shows and all this other stuff but could you please do us a favor could you please enjoy your wealth and stop making fucking music? Like, seriously, like, I'm serious, like, okay, Diddy, Dirty Money. My question is, how many of Puffy's groups have actually been successful? 
Has anybody heard from Day 26? Anybody heard from the girls of Daddy D. Kane? Has anybody heard from Babs? Things that make you go, hmm, Puffy, we love you. You know what I'm saying? You the shit. Yeah, you say you shit. However, we are tired of you making whack shit. Okay? You is up on stage at the BET Awards doing the same damn dance you did in the Juicy video with Biggie. If you gonna do that, you might well change your name back to Puff Daddy. I mean, seriously, Puffy, baby, go enjoy your money and, and, and take a chill pill. I'm gonna need you to do better. Okay, and last but not least, <clears throat> and you know, y'all, I could have talked about the Prince tribute and all that other stuff. I'm gonna talk about the Prince tribute. I'm gonna talk about the MJ tribute from Chris Brown. Okay, the Prince tribute, enjoyed. I loved my girl Janelle Monet. She rocked it. Did she not? Girl, she y'all, when I tell y'all, she had me up talking about something. Let's go crazy. I love Janelle Monet. you know what I'm saying? I love her. You got the tip on the tight rub. I like that. I like that because she's different. She's different. I like her. And the other little girl that was playing the, the little good talk, ukulele, whatever they call it. I like her little performance. <clears throat> then, of course, we get to Everyone's favorite, the world's favorite homewrecker. <clears throat> oh, y'all thought I wasn't gonna say nothing about it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say something about it. Um, Miss Alicia Keys. For the record, I gotta state this clearly for the record. I love you, Alicia. I have all of your albums, and only one of them is bootleg. Okay? Love me some A Keys, okay? Love her. Have followed her career since it started. However, y'all, when she was at that damn piano and she was tickling the ivories as she does so well, and then all of a sudden I saw her move and kick off her shoes, and I was like, what is she finna do? And then next thing I know, and I was looking, and I was like, no, she is not. Oh, my God. No, no, she is not. Leisha, don't do that. No, Leisha, Leisha, no, no, my God. She done got up on top of that damn piano. I was like, what is she doing? You are five months pregnant, or probably longer than that, because you showing awfully well. And I don't have kids, so I can't speak on pregnancy. I've never popped any babies out. However, I am a nurse, and I do know this. <clears throat> You do not need to be climbing up on top of pianos when you with child, okay? You don't need to be climbing no damn well. And I'm like, did she really just climb? Yo, she just really climbed up on top of that piano. I was like, ooh, Leisha, no, baby. No, don't do that. But she did it. Ooh, Leisha, you got to do better. Did y'all see the, re the reaction that Prince had on his face when she did it? Did y'all see it? Prince was like, and you know he was like, what is she doing? Y'all know how Prince is like, what is she doing? You know what I'm saying? I know he was thinking that. Like, I mean, I know she's the only one that he's really given permission to to really remake his songs. You know what I'm saying? Because she does a damn good job of it. I mean, come on. How come you don't call me? Yeah, that's one of my favorite Leisha Key songs. One of my favorite Prince songs. But I was like, I know she did not sit up there and climb her pregnant ass on that damn piano. <laughs> But she did. Alicia, sweetie, honey, from a true fan and follower of your music, for the sake of your health and for the sake of that child that is in your womb, don't do that shit no more. You know you ain't had no bitch climb up on that damn piano. It's bad enough you on national TV with child from Mr. Swizz Beats, your so-called fiance, who just so happens to be married to another woman from which you broke up their marriage. And then you gonna get on top of a piano. You know you need to sit down somewhere for your beat done got sick or something. Anywho, them the things that I just was not feeling at the BET Awards, videos one and two. So the third video in this last video, y'all, will be the things that I was really, really happy with. So you guys stay tuned. Check you next. Deuces.